Salutations and good morrow everyone and welcome back to another Grounded Update video where today we're hopping in and we are talking a few items that you need to start grinding right now before the hot and hazy update officially releases out of public test server and to all systems for everybody to play when they are ready to. So we are going to go through that in this video but before we do make sure you guys hit that like button don't forget to subscribe and leave me a comment down below but let's hop in and let's talk about it. So the first thing you need to start getting right now is an item that I am standing right next to. No, not the workbench, quartzite. Lots and lots and lots of quartzite. You're going to want to get probably better part of at least a hundred of it because of the amount of upgrading you are going to be doing in this update. Okay, they have put in a brand new anvil that we can put down. And if I put that in for you guys and we start looking, let's say we're going to upgrade this. You're going to need a lot of quartzite shards. It goes two, four, eight, 16, 32 shards to get to level five, and then more on from there. And we'll talk about the rest of the upgrades in another video. But you are definitely going to need a lot of quartzite. Like I said, I would go out and maybe spend time getting 200, at, at least 200 quartzite um, at a minimum. I know that sounds like a lot, and if you already have it, fantastic. But yeah, definitely about 200 quartzite for sure. Okay, and if you guys want to know to build an anvil, it's 10 quartzite shards on top of that, a weed stem, crude rope, and sap. So it's not too difficult to get. Okay, so this next one that I'm going to tell you guys you're going to want to get before the public test server is going to be a little bit of a groaner. And I always say it because you kind of have to. You're going to need a lot of raw science. Just to buy the anvil alone, it was 2,500 raw science. Um, they did change around the burgle quest a little bit. Oh, buddy, you like my workbench? But they did change around the, the burgle quest a little bit, so they give you more raw science now. But as a precaution, you're probably going to want about 6,000 or more because some of the um, some of the recipes that you're going to be getting from burgle, like the cookbooks, the cookbooks are 3,500 each if you want to get all of those. So you're going to want to get yourself on a raw science grind to help you get to where you need to go. I will be showing off a couple locations of where there's going to be some new raw science added to the backyard in another video. So I hope that that's going to help you guys out as well. So raw science and pebble and not and quartzite, raw science and quartzite, raw science and quartzite. You need a lot of it. The other thing you are definitely going to need, no matter what, is you're going to want to get yourself a new gas mask. Why do you need a new gas mask? Because the haze is bigger and in the trash area, there is now like polluted oxygen over there that you need a gas mask in order to get through. So make yourself an additional gas mask. Okay, trust me, you're going to need it. Going on from there, some other tools that you're going to need is a tier two shovel or tier two hammer, not the shovel. You can't get that yet. Sorry, that's in the update, but the tier two hammer. Okay. This tier two hammer is needed not only for getting the new salt bits that are coming to the game, but also the new fire candy that's coming to the game, as well as getting more of the mints that they're putting around in the backyard and the milk molars. You need a tier two hammer in order to get that. So if I were you guys go out and get yourself a tier two hammer. Now this next one is pure out of me just trying to be nice to you guys. This is generally me saying I would do this if I was in your guys' shoes waiting for the update to start and now knowing what I know. And that is go out and make a mint mace. Why? Because mint maces now are a heck of a lot harder to make once the update launches. They no longer take five mint pieces, they take five mint globs. And each mint glob takes five mints in order to make. So each mint mace will take 25 mint uh, globs in order to make. And on top of that, you need to get into a chest or a you need to get into a hidden lab with a key card that you need to get from fighting a mini boss just to get the recipe. Then you have to unlock the recipe with raw science just to be able to make a mint mace. So go out there, do yourself a favor, make one now before the update launches. Now, the last thing that I'm probably going to tell you guys you're going to want to get is a couple bombs because there's going to be some areas in the game where you're going to want to have some bombs in order to progress. Um, there are some explorable walls you need to get through. I'm trying not to spoil too many things here, but there's some explorable walls you need to get through. There is a couple rocks that can be blown up in order to change things. Um, and 
A couple other small things that you're going to need a bomb for as well without trying to spoil too much for you guys here in this video if that's not what you guys are looking for. Um, and yeah, that's mostly what you're going to need. A couple one-offs that I'm going to say that you could use for this would be a tier 2 dagger. Trust me, you're going to need it anyway. So just go get yourself a tier 2 dagger. Um, make sure you have an oven prepped because a lot of the stuff like the cooking and all of that is all done within the oven. So having an oven prepped is going to be a big deal. But really, guys, the big three here are the quartzite, the raw science, and having a hammer. Those are the big three because technically the gas mask can be made by you or you can go and get the rotten gas mask from over in the haze lab or the hedge lab. Um, the mint mace, that's just a luxury item. It is the second most powerful weapon in the game over every other weapon that's been released, even in the newer update. Um, so having this is very important, okay? And having bombs so you can get around places is also very good, but a lot of this stuff is going to have to be grinded out for like for instance the shovels or the knives and stuff like that a lot of that is going to be have to be grinded out for the new armor i guess one other luxury item i could tell you guys to go and get would be maybe um if i go over to crafting here really quick for you guys and we go into armor i would say probably silk rope would be super duper helpful and lastly b parts uh for your black ant gear but other than that, that's pretty much everything that I can tell you guys that's going to be really needed for you to go and explore these areas. Obviously, get yourself healing items. Make yourself up some canteen so you have water to run around with. Don't really grind out food that much because all the new food that you're going to be getting is going to be so much better than what you have now. Um, so that is really everything you guys are going to need to grind out, at least from what I have seen in the update so far. So once again, Quartzite raw science and a hammer now like i said a mint mace is going to be super duper cool getting out some of those other items that i stated throughout there go back rewatch the video get yourself out a notepad and write it down because i know i said a lot of things here um, but i'm just trying to help you guys be as prepared as possible for when the update hits so that way you guys can hop in and start seeing all of the new stuff that's happening right away in the update but thank you everybody so much for watching this video if you guys liked it please hit that like button for me to let me know you guys want to see more also guys if you can please subscribe and turn your bell notification to all because there's a lot of videos going out and youtube will only show you three of my videos a day and right now i'm averaging five so i'd hate for you guys to miss any of those videos and also please feel free to leave me a comment down below of other videos you guys would like to see me make and as always i'll see all of you guys in the next one